All right, so I'm going to be doing a mini Q&A session in this video. So first question comes from Joshua Mullins asking me about, am I Canadian or American? Well, a lot of people ask me about my nationality. I'm not Canadian. Uh, I don't know where that's from, but uh, I am Korean and living in America, I'm Korean American. So second question comes from Danny Saylor. So then he asks about a motorcycle transportation. So, you know, what are the rules and all that kind of stuff. So uh, I believe it's going to be different by command by command. So you know, my ship's rule is going to be different from another ship's rules. Uh, but I would say for the most part, the safety rule is probably going to be the same. Uh, it might be a little bit different here and there. Uh, the safety is basically, you know, they're going to tell you all, all the motorcycle regulations. So if you go to a big command, a big ship, you know, with a lot of people, so a lot of people's gonna be riding a motorcycle, and so there's gonna be a motorcycle club, and then, you know, they have the rules and everything like that. Over there, they, they can share with you. Uh, from what I can see with my command's motorcycle club, and there's about like kind of 100, 200 people, uh, they're very, very close-knit and, and very, very friendly with each other They're on a first name basis. And also, um, as for the safety, you, you have to wear your helmet, your you know uni uh, outfit so like jacket pants and boots is always a must from what i can remember from what they were telling me so there's many many different things and it has to be a specific helmet it can't be just like you know, any helmet or no helmet at all that's a big no-no uh, it has to be uh, it's a certain brand that you have to get uh where like if you've crashed like it'll definitely save you so that's one so third question comes from kaleo baker in terms of uh, should you should I join the Marines or the Navy so you know, a lot of people ask me hey should I join the Army should I join the Air Force Marines or the Navy uh, so you know it's it's really up to you you know each branch has its pros and cons each branch does their own thing every branch is important uh, it, it really depends on what you want so our, like I said before Army and Marines they're very very physical you know they're very very combat oriented so you know, you train, you run a lot, there's a lot of physical exercises, there's a lot of physical, uh, high physical standards, and then, you know, you, you get ready and you go to war. Uh, same for, you know, Air Force and same for Navy. But, you know, the way I look at it, when I first joined, uh, I, I looked at the statistics of how many people die in each uh, service, and Army and Marines, you know, they are very, very combat oriented, so, you know, there's a lot of casualties. Uh, whereas the Air Force and the Navy, you know, there's less casualties. Um, so, I, I, from a casualty standpoint, I, I joined the Navy. And also, uh, from an educational standpoint, uh, Air Force and Navy are up there in, in terms of um, valuing education. So, you know, I went with them compared to the Army and Marines. Not, not saying that they don't value education, uh, but uh, I, I... Yeah. Anyway. Last question comes from Nathan Goyer. I hope I said that right. So, while in boot camp, can you train on your own? So, a lot of people ask me this also. Like, when you have your free time, can you go to the gym? Um, can you train for martial arts or anything like that? There is no, absolutely not allowed. You can't train on your own. You can't use any facilities in boot camp, gym. Uh, when you're in boot camp, you are in your compartment, which is the place where you sl sleep with like, you know, hundreds of other people. You're going to be either there or in a classroom or in the gym with everyone else or swimming or eating. You know, you're going to do everything as a division. There is no individuality by any means. Okay, so you're not going to do anything by yourself is what I'm trying to say for the most part unless you're going to use the bathroom or you know, go to medical or anything like that then you kind of have to but uh there's no individual training individual swimming regimen you know you can't really you can't go off with the 800 division and then train with them no it's not allowed um because you're on a whole different level with the 800 division as far as how many pt and what they do so that concludes the mini Q&A session. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you want me to do more mini, mini Q&A session, make sure you leave a comment or question down below. More questions and I can do more uh, Q&A sessions. All right guys, thank you, have a great Navy day.